Uh, it, obviously, it took me back 25 years. Rico Phillips knows what players on the Fenville High School basketball team are going through. They watched their star athlete collapse and die after a game-winning layup. On April 18, 1985, he watched Flint Southwestern star baseball player Chad Jocelyn collapse in the dugout. Phillips, a 10th grader and the team athletic trainer at the time, says his life changed forever. High school coach at the time, he screamed at me, Rico, get over here and do something now. Uh, his mother, who was a, a nurse, uh, started CPR with me. And that was surreal in itself because his mother is working on her son and she's weeping as we're trying to do CPR. The rest of the team certainly were gathered around and they were do, they basically were coaching me. Come on, Rico, you know, you can do it. Come on, help him, help him. Phillips did everything he knew to do, but his classmate didn't make it. It's something he thinks of while coaching his son's hockey team, the Flint Flames. As a 15-year-old, it slapped me right in the face how fragile life is. Phillips says every moment that he's out here coaching his son's hockey team, he is aware that anything could happen to any of these kids at any moment. And he tells them that that should not prevent them from pursuing their dreams. It should only encourage them to be prepared. If you're prepared, um, at least you can react. It's advice Phillips lives by. He is now a Flint firefighter. He says Chad Jocelyn inspired him to dedicate his life to saving every life he can. Me, that experience gave me the opportunity to say, follow your dreams, Rico. It's okay, you're meant to help people.